this is another short test instrument video it's um, about the Kenwood FL 180A wound flutter meter that I picked up I got a good deal on it so I couldn't pass it up I already have a a leader wound flutter meter in my possession but I decided to get this one because also it includes a has a built-in uh, frequency counter okay as the name says of course the wow and flutter meter it measures wow and flutter so you can basically think of it as um, as speed fluctuation simply put the meter measures uh, frequency deviation and about the wow part of the meter Kenwood here the manufacturer considers anything from 0.5 to 6 Hertz that's a wow component and anything from 6 to 200 Hertz is considered to be flutter um, again the wow that's a slow variation and the flutter is a rapid variation and it's actually made the meter itself is actually made to be used with turntables or tape players you really don't use it with CD players because they have such low wow and flutter that the meter can't really be used with them and I can also say that actually every every tape player and turntable has wow and flutter it's only actually when it when it exceeds the manufacturer specifications that it's that it's actually a problem and as far as this meter itself is concerned you get your standard off and on switch and has the your standard analog meter there and it's got six it actually has six different um, switched ranges I think the leader have has a little bit less and you can go from 10% all the way down to 0 0.03 that's the range and I think the actual resolution is all the way down to 0 0.003% and here looking again and looking at the um, looking at the analog meter though while in flutter deviation or error if you will that's indicated as as like as a percentage here on the analog meter um, what else can I say about it okay here down here you have the indication and that's means you can set the meter up for um, the four primary standards you got your here you got your DIN standard your DIN standard that uses uh, 3150 Hertz then you have your the, this one here is the CCI CCIR that's a French standard that uses 3000 Hertz and you got your NAB standard um, as far as I remember I think it's the United States standard that uses 3000 Hertz and that the JAS standard that uses um, also 3000 Hertz and here you have if you go over here you have two oscillator output settings one is for 3000 Hertz and the other one is for 3150 Hertz or 3150 Hertz that way you can make your own um, tapes for testing up here you can the good thing oh another reason I bought this uh, wall and flutter meter not only because it has a built-in frequency counter but here you can measure the wow and flutter separately um, I think you can also measure combination of wow and flutter and then you can measure weighted or unweighted which is just a different uh, standard and here you get two different uh, sensitivity levels one of them is from five five millivolts to 30 volts and the other one is from also that let me take a look at it 0 0.5 to 100 millivolts okay and that way you can say measure directly from uh, tape heads or phono cartridges if you so desire and 
far as I remember from reading the instruction manual here, it also has a level monitor, level monitor, which uh, right there, which lights up when the input voltage is more than five millivolts. I think if it doesn't light up, then you have to check your level setting. Um, as far as the counter itself, it's a four-digit counter. Of course, you can see that, and you can select either. I think a line frequency or a crystal controlled time base for the counter and I think the counter itself is supposed to measure from 10 Hertz to 9999 Hertz anything else here okay you get your mode button here with the mode button you can either select your measurement mode either frequency or wow and flutter um i guess i'll turn it over now and this is the back of course that was the uh the um reference frequency for the counter as far as i remember and here you can hook up some kind of like a i think it's like a some kind of like a chart recorder and drift output I think that puts out some kind of a voltage of course the drift has something to do with something yeah yeah drift you know, off speed basically and this is an output where you can hook up a scope directly to it um, what else here do we have okay it has a fuse your line your cord there's an extra ground terminal here and uh, I would say that's about it.